This is a next weather alert from CBS News Miami. I'm Dave Warren. We will continue to see storm surge here in the lower keys at low tide right now. High tide 1230. The storm itself 90 miles to the northwest and moving north. But these squalls of rain and that persistent south wind continues to move across the lower keys. This area of rain will continue to work its way into the upper keys. And this is where you find that strong wind. Now with these bands out of the southeast or southwest, uh, about 33 miles an hour sustained gust close to 50 miles an hour, so almost seeing persistent tropical storm conditions. Now we've had a history of that with higher gusts uh, there as these move through the wind will pick up. It's out of the southeast at 20 miles an hour with gusting over 30 miles an hour. Homestead, Miami and Fort Lauderdale and you get these squalls of rain, individual rain showers within this. We've had some storms rotate. The radar picks up that rotation. Tornado warnings issued. You get that strong gust of wind as you brief tornado moves through. So be on the lookout for that. Stay alert for any warnings or uh, alerts that could come your way uh, because we still remain under that tornado watch till five o'clock this morning. The storm itself. This is the latest track. This will update at five o'clock. Now come the forecast models continue to drift it to the north just a bit, uh, but this still has it forecast to, to become a uh, category four uh, by eight o'clock this morning. Then Fort Myers up to Sarasota over the interior here to a category three by eight o'clock tonight. So it's, uh, a landfall later this afternoon and this evening, then over land to a tropical storm, maybe briefly curving over water by Friday morning and then back over to the, uh, the Carolinas and Atlanta, uh, or, or I should say Georgia uh, by uh, Friday night and Saturday morning, continuing to stay across the southeast United States. Now this is over the next six hours. It's these individual showers and squalls that we want to be concerned with the storm itself moving towards the coast line, but within this you get the strong gusty wind. We'll still have these working their way through the area in between a little break, maybe even a break of sunshine, uh, but then you get a gust of wind and a heavy downpour as these push through the area. One just lifted to the north. A few more developing here around Miami Lakes that could continue to move north through Broward County. Again, brief drop in visibility, quick gust of wind as these work their way through the area. A little more developing here off the coast, uh, but they do develop into these bands here moving through the lower keys right now that'll continue to push towards the upper keys. There's the storm center itself. That's where it's headed. The wind continues out of the south and uh, again the uh, next 24 hours off and on rain quick squalls that move through the area. The breeze continues to go over the pretty much the same direction. So that'll pile water right up the coast around high tide might see more flooding there in the keys midday today. That's at 12 one o'clock. So the showers are around, but as the storm lifts to the north, the wind starts to turn to the southwest and then we'll try to start to pull some drier air air in here by Wednesday night and Thursday. So these showers and squalls start to clear out and get a little more sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. Strong wind. The tornado watch till five o'clock this morning. Gusts with these showers, 35 to 50 miles an hour. Minor coastal flooding in the Keys, though. Here's the issue. Wind gusts 50 to 80 as these squalls move through. Storm surge three to five feet, especially in the lower Keys. That's near high tide, which is at 1230 today. Uh, 86 to 87, two alert days. Although tomorrow afternoon looks like we'll see improvement, getting a little more sunshine in the forecast. And Friday and Saturday, sunshine and storms. Uh, rain chance right at 50 percent as we drive things out and uh, get, recover from Ian as it continues to move north here over the southeast United States, but that's over the next seven days.